Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be starting the new career mode. It's been a long time, I know, uh, I have been busy with life, uh, but I've got the time now. And we're going to start a career mode on FIFA 21 with Crystal Palace. Yes guys, um, the reason why I picked Crystal Palace, I like the players. Um, I kind of, I kind of know the players really well. Uh, I went to them. I watched most of their games when they're being broadcast uh, in my country, at least. Um, I think they're a fun team. Let's get to the squad hub. Let's have a look at the team. In goal, uh, we had a lot of keepers. We had Guaita, Hennessy, Butland, and Henderson. Uh, I've decided to keep Guaita and keep Butland, uh, but sell Hennessy and uh, Steven Henderson. Reason being his contract is running out of Hennessy uh, and he's not the best so I just decided to get rid of him We've got two better keepers and younger keepers already in the team. So why would I bother keeping him here? While he's not playing probably when he stays and then Steven Henderson. Yeah, he's just not good enough 32 years old and 65 rate That's like abysmal compared to the rest at left back uh, I've decided to not do anything with left back uh, I'm gonna keep Patrick Van Arnold, uh, sell Hannum and keep Mitchell. I'm gonna. My plan is I'm gonna play Van Arnold as my first left back and grow Mitchell into a, a good enough left back to make him start when Van Arnold leaves. Um, that way, uh, I want to get our Crystal Palace their own youth players in the team a little bit more. Unlike what I did with the Southampton career mode, I kind of just bought to replace instead of like youth to replace so yeah that's my plan and this guy David Boat I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt I'm gonna loan him out if he loans to like 64 I'll probably keep him as my uh, second left back next year and sell Van Arnold and put Mitchell as my first left back then at centre back uh, we had a big problem uh, I've decided to keep Kuyato and Kyo uh, Kuyato because I really like him in real life uh, I think he's just a strong good centre back, perfect for that position, especially for a team like Crystal Palace that are on the ball not so offensively gifted, you know, so they have to defend a lot and with him you can rely on, on that, on defending. Uh, and KO, uh, of course he's a Chelsea legend, I'm a Chelsea fan, but also uh, he's retiring and I'm not going to be disrespectful and sell him a player that's retiring at the end of the season uh, in my opinion that's a bit disrespectful because he's chosen to, to stay with your club and retire there uh, so I've decided to sell Dan not good enough to old country running out no problem Tompkins I was contemplating keeping him here but he's old contract running out and yeah you know when I when I see the name Tompkins Tompkins I'm not like immediately like yeah that's a good Crystal Palace player uh, so yeah I'm not gonna keep him and Sacco I never liked this guy not at Liverpool not here never I'm gonna let him go no offense to the guy he's a French centre-back and most French centre-backs are really nice uh, people and really fun people so I'm pretty sure his personality is perfectly fine but yeah I'm not gonna keep him here uh, I like his hair though very creative <laughs> uh, and as well contract running out so that made my decision even easier I'm not going to waste my wage budget on these guys I'll probably get in uh, younger centre backs uh, and then Kelly he's more of a right back in my opinion but yeah not good enough old uh, no contract running out but still in my opinion he's not worth it keeping so I'm just gonna let him go he can go wherever he wants once uh, We'll see what happens. At right back, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sell Ward. By the way, contract running out. Old right back. Don't like him. Get out of the door, good sir. No problem in letting him leave. Uh, at least with me. Uh, and then with Nathan Ferguson, 19 year old, 69 rate. Uh, so right back, left back. Uh, I'm gonna do the same. I'm going to do with uh, Mitchell, but then with Ferguson, Klein first right back. Uh, I might even start Ferguson. I don't know yet. I don't know if I like Klein as a right back. Um, I've never played with Klein in this game, um, so I don't know. Uh, he'd probably be decent enough. Uh, so I'll, I'm going to start with Nathaniel at right back, and if he if I if he doesn't suit me or if I don't like him, I'll use uh, Ferguson. Then Giddens, I'm going to sell him. McCarthy, Riedewald, and Milojevic, I'm going to keep. 
uh, McCarthy because you know we need the backup midfielder uh, read about uh, yeah he's still only 23 that's like a thing that I totally forgot this guy was only 23 I thought he was older but yeah he he was 19 when he came from Ajax to to the Premier League to Crystal Palace which is insane uh, but yeah he hasn't lived up to his potential but he's still got a lot of time he's only 23 so he might prove us wrong in this career mode um, I'm probably gonna star him as well next to Milovojevic uh, we'll see what happens um, I'm not gonna buy in a, another sentiment because I have to show you guys something in the, in the academy trust me you want to see that it's exciting and really weird <laughs> uh, left back uh, uh, left back I mean left wing Jeffrey Slup uh, I'm gonna use him as my backup left wing and then Zaha as my first left winger uh, so we're all fine on on that part of the pitch uh, as a I'm gonna play a 4-3-3 attack so that means I'm playing with a cam so I'm gonna play as a as the first cam uh, and we'll need a, a backup cam or not depends on what I think I need um, because I have to show you guys the academy player after after I'll show you in a bit you will see it in this video and it's crazy you'll be excited trust me it's exciting MacArthur I'm gonna sell him uh, 32 year old pretty much an old version of McGinn or oh, uh, Scottish hard-working midfielder basically is so good of course because of his technical ability but also because he works so hard that's what gives these kind of players an edge um, even the Premier League they work so hard they're so strong physically mentally as well uh, but he, he doesn't fit my mindset I'm sorry so he's gonna get sold then right wing we have Andros Townsend I'm gonna keep him at right wing and uh, I'm gonna be uh, bring in another uh, winger I have some on the scout uh, on my short list I'll show you in a bit then Pyrrhic, I'm going to give this guy the benefit of the doubt as well. If he grows to a minimum of 64 uh, in this first season, I will keep him and play him as my right winger or backup right wing or might loan him out uh, for further development. But yeah, I'm, I kind of like the look of this guy. I think he might you know, become something. I don't know what his potential is at the start of the game. Um, because even though it, when I choose to keep him, he's probably not going to play that much. Especially if I'm going to bring in one of these right wingers. Or left winger. There's one left winger in there. I think. Or two. No, I think one. Um, yeah, so that's that's a dilemma for the future. Uh, a lux lux luxury problem for us, hopefully. <laughs> Let's hope it doesn't bring any changing room problems. Or conflicts. That would be even worse. Uh, Avero, I'm going to sell him. Not good enough. He's under the age of... They're under the reign of 60, so I'm definitely not going to consider him. Then Zaha, of course, the main man here. He's going to be a star man, hopefully. Um, I really like him in this game. I've scored some screamers uh, online with this guy. I'm going to try to do the same in in this career mode, trust me. <laughs> Even though it's ultimate, I can still score a screamer, my guy. Trust me. Then Batshuayi, of course, I'm a Chelsea fan. I love this guy. The bat, Batman. Uh, he's he's going to be a backup striker. Mateta's going to be a third striker. Uh, Wickham I'm going to sell, and Ayu is going to be my first striker. And Benteke Benteke is going to get sold. Reason for Ayu, of course, normally people would probably pick Bachelet or Mateta, but I do not like loan players unless it's absolutely necessary. I do not like loan players, so I'm going to keep him as a backup. Even though I love Michi, I think he deserves to to get sold from Chelsea. And you know, fit in with a different team instead of getting loaned out every year. But yeah, that's kind of Chelsea, Chelsea's thing, at least in the past. Right now, it's a little less. Um, but yeah, it has been a thing for them to do that. But uh, yeah, hopefully in this save they'll change that. But that's kind of the team. Um, let's go to the office and let's see how things are going there. We have 28 million and 171,000 in the budget. Youth staff, 
IG Stanley was our first uh, scout we got automatically at the start of the save um, because this year in FIFA 21 uh, you get a uh, scout I think based on your club's skill level and you uh, get a youth scout player which I'm going to show you in a bit that's the exciting thing I want to talk about but first uh, I've sent these scouts by the way the English guy I've sent to uh, the Republic of Ireland and I've sent what's his face uh, the Swedish guy uh, to England because he was the five star five star and of course we want the best youth players to come out of England because we're an English team uh, and I think the scouts of uh, Crystal Palace are primarily based in the Republic of Ireland and uh, England probably I don't think they'll go much abroad um, but then youth development long term low priority uh, but I think this is high priority I think youth is the, the main thing your club has to get on the way in a good in a good way um, because it's very important to build your the future of your club trust me there's there have been so many instances of clubs that just straight up died because they didn't have any good youth uh, players coming in or youth academy that train their young players to like be at least a little bit decent um, So it's very important They want us to within two seasons have at least one player or players from the youth academy signed in the first season play at least 30% of the games in the next season Next season is going to be our youth scouts time trust me I'll make sure it will be his time brand exposure it's easy by the way, we can definitely do this with the youth scout player we've got. Uh, brand exposure, low priority, get 7 games with at least 1 goal scored in away matches this season. Easy, that's like basically scoring in, scoring 1 goal in 7 away games. That's a minimum of 19 games uh, for us, of course in the Premier League. Uh, so that's easy, we're definitely going to score in a minimum of 7 in those away games. Trust me, we're not that bad, at least I'm not that bad in FIFA. It's on ultimate, so even though it's on ultimate, what am I talking about? I'm still going to score in away goal, uh, away games. Financially, medium priority. This is the most important thing for the board, uh, not for me though, uh, because it's FIFA. It's not FM. You don't have to really like manage your finances. It's not like FM, like where it's like a realistic game. No, this is not. Every year you get the same money. Uh, and every year if you do better you'll get more transfer budget so you don't have to worry about this um, so we're not going to look at it then domestic success this is important they want us to get mid table I've had the same goal for myself even though our team I I think our team is a little bit below that maybe maybe just about mid table uh, we'll see what happens and the FA Cup reached the round of 16 stage which is a bit tougher but I think we can do it I have faith and then of course continental success is not in our board expectations because we don't have any European football but then we go to youth academy now this is the weirdest youth scout youth player I've ever had Peter Davis I like his hair beautiful bald guy with that that hair I already love this guy he's left foot as well just like me he's a center forward he's 17 years old from England of course uh, He's six foot six. Six foot six, yes. He weighs 165 LBS, so he's not that heavy. Four star, five star, medium, medium work rates. And he has 86 dribbling and 74 pace. His physical is 53. And he's six foot six. And his pace, 74, 74. For a guy with six foot six, that's, you know, maybe he's that fast because of his long legs. But then he has 93 agility. 93 guys. I don't think any I don't think there's any player above the height of six foot five that has agility higher than 80. Let alone 70, I think. No way. And this guy has 93. Oh, I am training him to a camp though. But this guy, and he only has 44 heading and only <laughs> 47 strength Does he not eat or something what what the fuck is happening EA this is like EA logic <laughs> If he was like like six foot or like five foot eleven, you know, I would accept it But six foot six 
insane. I'm immediately going to call him up as well, promote the senior team. Um, that's that's just kind of the intro. Um, no, it's not. I've got to show a short list. Let's go to the transfer hub. These are the centre books where I'm looking to at least bring in two of Chambers. Uh, he's never going to start at Arsenal and he is about the rating of 74 75 which is perfect for us only 25 if need be he can play at right back or center mid or cdm i mean um and his english fits perfectly for the you know for crystal palace um so i'm gonna keep an eye on him eric dyer the same he might be a little bit too expensive but the same center back can play in midfield uh again just think of like Kuyate. is this Technically, he's a CDM, but you can play at centre back. Uh, English fits Crystal Palace. Their like philosophy, sort of, uh, at least in my opinion. And even though he might be a little bit too expensive, because Spurs actually use him, he's only 26 as well, so he's pretty young. Uh, we'll keep an eye on him, but he's probably going to be too expensive. And then Rob Holding, uh, again, even though he's actually playing this year in FIFA, you probably won't. Uh, 24 years old so he's very young uh, English centre back again technically dead weight for Arsenal in uh, FIFA so it might be fun to bring him in and use him Konza I put him in because I really like him in real life and in FIFA but he's probably going to be too expensive can play at right back at right back as well uh, English he's, he's having a great season and Aston Villa, even though they've dropped off massively, of course, after January, kind of, or maybe February, but still, they've improved so much from last year, and they even won 7-2 against Liverpool. So, yeah, I don't think many teams can say they've done that a year after they've survived relegation to go on and win 7-2 against Liverpool. Insane. Then we have Tanganga, uh, only 21 years old, English, can play at both fullbacks and centre-back. Uh, yeah, Tanganga, I, I kind of like him as a player in real life. Um, of course, I'm a Chelsea fan, so I don't like any Tottenham players, but I, I can kind of feel for the guy because the defence at Tottenham is like garbage. Uh, it's been for a long time now. And uh, yeah, he's only 21, uh, so he is extremely young, uh, and he won't be too expensive because centre backs that have a low rating, I think he's 73 rated. Even though if they're young, they're still kind of cheap. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on him. Then we have Twanzebe. Uh, yeah, this guy. This is a weird one. He's been at United for a long time now. He's been loaned out multiple times already, uh, and he doesn't really get the chance. Kind of because of Mourinho, he bought in like players like Bailly, uh, which is a bit annoying for him. He can play it right back as well. English, 22 years old, still very young. I think he's a bit injury prone, yes, which kind of makes me dislike him. Uh, but yeah, I think he can be decent. In FM, he's, I think, really good. So let's hope he might be good in this as well. Uh, so if we do decide to pick him up, he won't get injured that much. Then we go to the right wing spot. I put on Reese Nelson. He's only 20 years old, guys. Remember that because he gets a lot of critic criticism uh, because he doesn't really play that well right now for Arsenal or this season. But you can't really blame him. He's only 20. I think this is like his first season, like really in the Premier League for Arsenal. The rest of the time he's been loaned out, so give him some time. He can play on both wings, uh, right wing, left wing, even left mid which I like, versatility, I always like players that can play in multiple positions, uh, so we'll keep an eye on him, I think he will be decently cheap, um, because he's not that high rate, he would be a backup option after Townsend, or maybe first, we'll see what happens, then we have Embuemo, he's been very good this season for Brentford in uh, the championship, uh, they, uh, I think at the time of recording this, I think today they've won three one against uh, Bournemouth in the semi final of the playoffs. So uh, congratulations to you guys. Uh, hopefully this year you won't bottle it the final. 
Um, but yeah, Emboemo, I think he's like 74 rate, if I'm correct. He can play at strike as well. I think he, he's technically in real life, he's a cam. Because they had to replace Ben, Ben, Ben Randa, Ben Handa, uh, that guy that went to West Ham. So technically he's a cam, but I'm going to use him as a right winger. Uh, yeah, he's got great stats. I, I think I've used him once this year in the career mode. But yeah, he's a great player. Then I've got Daniel James. I think he would be the perfect player. But he's probably going to be too expensive. Because uh, in this game, he's hyped up a lot. Um, can play pretty much everywhere on the, on, on the attack. Send the forward, right mid, left mid. That means right wing, left wing, striker probably. Um, he's only 22. And he's insanely quick. That's the reason why I put him on. Uh, when I saw him... I was like, okay, this might be doable for us. Then Ryan Kent. Technically, he's a left winger, but he can play on the right wing as well. I've used him this year. He can play some football in this game. Trust me. Yeah, he can definitely play. Um, that's why he's on. He's really good. I thought he would be quicker, but in-game he feels really quick. So that's that makes up for it. He's only 23 years old, English as well. Uh, might make his comeback to Premier League football. Of course, he. Uh, I think he first got loaned out to Rangers from Liverpool, and then they sold uh, Ken to him, uh, to them. And now we might bring him back. That's the short list. Um, so now, um, let's first show you the games in this month or next month. Uh, our first month in Premier League football will be away against Wolves, which is tough. Home against City, away against Southampton, and home against Fulham. Now this is a pretty a pretty tough start of the season, in my opinion. Uh, we're probably not going to win against Wolves, not going to win against City. A draw against Southampton, a win against Fulham. That's what I, that's my prediction. And of course, Fulham, I want to win that with extra motivation because yeah, still to this day, the most fun I've ever had in the career mode was the Southampton career mode. I'm being completely honest right now. That's the most fun I've ever had in the career mode. Uh, so yeah. Let's start simming. And I'll be back with you guys when we've either got anything interesting in or when we get the Skyrim boys back. Okay, a lot has happened uh, since we've last spoken to each other. Um, we've gotten all the Skyrim boys back as you can see right here. So we're going to bring in the players we want right now. But first... Um, our budget has gone up to 45 million after uh, multiple players leaving the team. Uh, we had an offer for Davis, I declined it. Uh, accepted an offer for 3.5 million for Kelly. I think. Uh, let's have a look who's left us. Um, oh, I mess up. Who has left us? Um, if I remember correctly, Arthur left, MacArthur. I think Scott Dan left. Yes. And I think Ward left. I think those were the players that left us. Um, which brought our tally up to 45 million. I don't know how I've gotten so much in. I can't really remember exactly who I've sold, uh, which is my bad. I'm sorry. I probably should have kept. Wait, I can see transfer history. I'm I'm being stupid here. My club. We sold Scott Dan for 1.3 million to Nance. Uh, Sacco. That's the one I sold him for 5.5 million to Lil. Um, then Benteke to fill him for 3.7 million. They can have him. Uh, then War to Getafe for 3.3 million, and then MacArthur. For 4.5 million for to Augsburg, which was still a lot for that guy. He's 32 years old. Uh, 30, yeah, 32, uh, which is a lot of money for a 32 year old. That's not that good. But now we have the dilemma: Who are we going to buy? Um, are we going for a Dyer and Konza are off the table? They're too expensive. Same as Rob Holding, not going to do it. So we're probably going to bring in Callum Chambers and Tanganga or Tuanzebi. I'm looking more towards like Tuanzebi and Tanganga. Ah, I think Tanganga is going to be the first. Wait, no, that. 
Oh, we can. I thought because we're both London teams, they they would consider us as a rival. Because that's how FIFA works. Because I have strict negotiations on. But they are willing to to dazzle with us about the transfer fee. Let's go six million. Let's see what they say. They want to. Can we immediately get a bargain? Five point five. Let's try it. They accept. I guess I'm the FIFA master, at least in career mode, because I don't think anyone can do that. I have strict on. Um, trust me, I don't know if I can show, but I, I promise you, I have strict negotiations on. He wants rotation as well. Perfect. His wage though, thirty three grand a week. God damn. How does this? How does he make that? Ah, oh, it's a Premier League Tottenham, you know. He want, he's willing to take a wage cut. Has removed the bonus. What does he say after that? Five hundred, bro. Deal. I'm not even gonna fight. I'm not even gonna fight you about it. Now, Twansby is injury prone, and he's fifty-four k, fifty-four grand a week. God damn, he's earning a lot of money for a 22 year old that doesn't even play for the club. Really, he's always injured or loaned out, so that surprises me. Or Chambers. Stat wise, Chambers is pretty much better at everything except for pace and mentality. Um. Pace wise I don't really care about. I don't know how to how to choose. Uh, mentally Let's have a look mentally. Aggression 76 77 composure. No, I'm going to answer it just because of composure. I am a i I'm a person that plays a lot through the centre backs, so they have to have the composure to play a pass out of the back so I'm gonna go in for Twanzebe 7 million is worth that's like I always do valuation bid and they oh my this is gonna seem rigged <laughs> I thought I was gonna pay at least a minimum of 10 for this guy but no they they are handing me bargains here but that kinda makes up for his wage cause he's earning fucking a lot God damn, he wants important though. That's a bit more. I guess we'll accept five years. No, five years. Five years is the minimum for me. Disregard release. We don't need a release clause, my guy. I'm gonna try and get it down to 46 and give him a signing bonus of like 200. How about that, my guy? He's re reasonable if he's happy with that. Okay, so he's taking a wage cut of like nine grand, which for him isn't a lot with that by with that salary. But that means Chambers can go. Our first two signings are in Tanganga and Tuanzebe, so we've got our core of the field in, at least at centre back. Now we need a right winger. Hmm. I think I'm going to stay away from James. And Ken for now. I think they're a bit too expensive. I think Embuemo is actually borderline expensive. Why is Reese so much cheaper than his one rating? It's and they're the same age. He plays in the championship, so you would expect him to be cheaper. Hmm. The only downside about Embuemo is he can't play on the left. Technically, he can only play the striker. And Nelson has a real face. And he kind of fits the role Hudson Odoi played in the <laughs> Southampton career match. So I'm, I'm gonna go for Reese. Reese boy, I'm gonna go for him. I think Reese is gonna be amazing. Him with Eze and Willy. By that I mean Willy Zaha, Wilfred Zaha. L again, valuation bit. If I can get this guy for his valuation, bro, we got monies left. 
first bro i'm gonna i'm gonna be cheap here 4.7 and I accept, let's go, 4.7 for Reese Nelson, I'll take that any day of the week. He's quick, technically good, I think Embuemo is technically more gifted, but who cares. He's an English boy. I would see Nelson at, as a right wing, as a replacement for Townsend in the future, you know. I don't think Nelson will break through at Arsenal, especially with players like Saka coming through now. But we'll see what happens. He wants rotation. I can accept that. Five years. That's what I wanted. No release clause. Fine by me. 25k. Bro. They know. This is like. This is really. They always take a wage when they go to a worse team. That's. That's like logic. Logically. You know. The wise thing to do. Because. Why would you want to pay increase when you go to a worse team? Technically, they can't really afford that. But Mbwemo is gone. Fuck him. I'm kidding. I I think you're a nice guy. But yeah, let's put them in our team. And let's have a look how we're going to do this. Because I've called up our youngster, Davis. I'm going to put him in, definitely. He's going to be playing a lot this season, trust me. I'm going to try and fit him in everywhere. I'm going to take Mateta out for Nelson. I think I'm going to play... No. Normally, I would put Tuanza Bay in front of uh, Kale. But the reason being I'm going to put Kale in is because he, he's going to retire here. So, I'll, I'm going to give it to him. I'm not just going to keep him on the bench for the last game of the season and then play him. No, I'm not going to do that. Um... Uh, which means I'm going to take out probably I actually want to keep these two on uh, Shloop I'm sorry my guy you have to go um I also want Tengang going I'm sorry Ferguson you're going to have to be on the bench uh, on the reserves Twanzebe can play it right back can Davis play at centre oh wait this is CDM yeah he can kind of play it as a sentiment so that's nice because he's he's really good dribbling wise and passing is okay pacey so yeah i think i'm gonna go like this i, I might change Klein out for ferguson but yeah i think i'm going to go into the first game like this so let's save that so plan that we're going to follow right now um let's see him to the first game if anything happens, I'll show you guys, and else I'll see you guys in the game. Yes, guys. Okay. Uh, a couple of things happened. Uh, we've got to the transfer hub. We received offers for Hennessy, Dreyer, Tompkins, and Riedewald. Of course, I rejected the offer for Riedewald, but I accidentally rejected for Tompkins. Uh, I thought it said Kale. My bad. I'm I'm being stupid. Uh, so yeah, I accidentally rejected the 3.5 million bid, else I would have accepted. I've accepted the Drea bid for like 410,000. This one is an interesting one. I could have accepted this one for 1.3 million, but I, I thought it would be funny to do this one. Abdullah Sidibe as a swap deal. This would be the first swap deal we've ever done on a, in a video. And he actually looks pretty decent for 18 year old, 62 rate left winger. Um, so I decided to accept it he might play in a cup game this season probably not <laughs> but maybe maybe I'll just take put Schlupp at, at a different place and I'll just play him if they accept of course um, yeah for be funny let's do it you know um, yeah that was all that happened I'll, we still have a big budget um, but I'm not gonna spend it all of course because I'm keeping this realistic for you guys um, but then you stuff we've gotten our scout reports back so let's have a look uh, you're not good enough you are definitely not good enough you are not good enough let's keep him in the scout update you're not good enough and you're not good enough so let's keep him in scout report you're not good enough you're not good enough you're not good enough let's keep him in he might be good enough and they're all not good enough so our first scout reports are a shambles 
god damn these guys are terrible Jesus Christ oh, I hope the next ones will be better but let's now get into the game um, I haven't decided who to play I think I'm just gonna play the lineup I have right now um, not change too much about it Jerry Rodriguez scored twice let's have a look at the results for the first for the first I've gone too far fuck West Brom somehow draw away from home 2-2 against United Burnley win 3-2 against Chelsea Everton win against Sheffield Liverpool draw 2-2 West Ham win 2-1 Aston Villa win 2-1 and that was it that's a bit of a weird start of the season is it on ultimate? I swear I put on ultimate it is um it's on everything is on I don't know it's a bit weird but who, who gives a fuck let's go into this game the lineup I'm going with let's have a look I think I'm just going like this Willy at left wing, you at striker, Townsend at right wing, Eze at cam, Riedewald and Milofajevic as the CDMs, Van Arnold at left back, Klein at right back, Keo and Kiyata in the middle, Keo our captain, I don't know why, I'm pretty sure Milofajevic was the captain before I started simming, I swear to god you can look back, uh, Gaita at in goal, you know I give Keo the, the captain's armband, you know, who gives a fuck? He's leaving after the season. So, their lineup: Pedens, Jimenez, Januzaj, Neves, Moutinho, Johnny, Marcelo. Oh, is that the guy from Lyon? I think so. Uh, Bully, Saiz, Semedo, and Patricia. So, in FIFA, they have a, a better squad than they have in real life. Let's be honest. This season, they have been very dreadful. They almost. Let's be honest. They almost got in an allegation battle this season. Let's let's be completely honest. You know. And of course they have you know a young team kind of with Fabio Silva and Podence and Neto of course uh, but yeah about Wolves by the way of course uh, Nuno uh, Nuno the, the coach Nuno Espiranto uh, I don't know fuck he says his name he left or at least he's leaving he said he'll leave after the final game of the season um, which is a bit sad to see because you know if you think of Wolves you think of that guy uh, and people are saying that he's going to take over for uh, Tottenham now we'll see what happens but let's get into this game because this is a whole different universe um, this is a game so uh, and of course this is more important to us let's get into the game and let's hopefully start the season off with uh, at least some good football Oh no, what am I doing? Jimenez, oh, great turn, shot, and it's 1-0 to Wolves. What did just happen? I was quiet, I was totally quiet. Nothing was happening. And he goes to Trisco, that's supposed to be Nuno. I, t I passed it, but I, I don't know why, but I passed it into the feet of Jimenez. Guaita came out. Great ball roll from Jimenez though, I have to give it to him, and he passes it to Pedence, who shoots it kind of a tight corner, and K.O. was there like doing nothing. Great goal, I have to admit, of course by my own mistake, but yeah, so far the start has not been great for us, I have to be honest. I'm not playing at my best right now, no excuse of course, but yeah, I'm not doing well, I have to improve. 1-0 to Wolves, but we're going to fight back. We always will. Wolves here. Great defending. A counter now. No. First half is done. It has been a boring half. I think neither of us. Neither of, of, of uh, our teams have been good. As you can see by the stats. It's not going well. But. I still have to get used to this team. So let's go into the second half. And uh, let's hope we can pass better. Our problem has definitely been passing. As you saw with the goal, but just in general play, our passing has been terrible. Let's improve. Rido out. Going somewhere. Into Zaha. Now there's no Semedo. Cut inside with Willy. Into Eze. Into you. 
sh fake shot. I need I need someone in support. They take the ball. We still have it. S8. Shoot. Blocked. Shoot again. Blocked. Come on, corner, corner. Nice. We get a corner. Come on. Saha. Cuts inside. Beautiful shoot, my guy. Ah. Oh. Defended really well. Finally, our first good attack. Where we're finally getting to something. No, too late. Fuck. We serve the ball. Are you? Over the top. Great ball to Van Arnold. Push, my guy. Shoot, my guy. Van Arnold! Let's go! 1 0. What a goal. Yes! Patrick Van Arnold, the Dutchman. Great finish into the site netting as well. Far corner, left foot. This is why we have him at left back. Come on, 1 0. Great goal. Great pass from Ayu. But the first touch from Van Arnold that gave him the, the way that gave him the chance to sprint away sprint away from Semedo. 64th minute, 1 0. Our second big chance, and we've we've done really well. Let's keep it going. So, can we immediately score a second? Sweaty. As I take a touch. Oh no, he shoot The pro. Oh my god, that really just happened. Fuck. As they're running deep, I see you, my guy. Great ball. As they shoot. Let's go. 2 1. Come on! Yes, salute, salute, my guy. Yes, indeed. Oh, what a ball from Milikovic! Great finish. What again in the side netting? Come on! Yes. Bully couldn't muscle Eze of the ball, and of course Eze is quicker even with the ball than Bully. Yes, that's my guy. I know it doesn't look anything. It doesn't look anything like me, but Eze. Scores his first goal in the Premier League in the 74th minute. And we're 2-1 up, guys. Let's go. Wolves here. They've got possession and they're doing well here. But Kuyat, what am I doing? I hate myself. I did not mean to dribble back into the two players of Wolves. What am I? I, you can see me fake shot when I get the ball with Kuyate because I was I was about to press the button to slide tackle, but I cancelled it when we got the ball, so I had to cancel to not to not shoot it away. Oh my god! And then I, for some reason, he dribbles into the, the two attackers. Two mistakes by me cost us two goals and maybe even two points today. Fuck, but we're not giving up. We're not giving up. We're gonna push. We're gonna push till the end, and uh, let's hope we can still get a result out of this. As a long ball into Ayu, but yeah, this time they're not gonna fall for it. And that's the end of the game. What a shame. That was. <laughs> How did I manage to mess up that badly? I don't know what happened. I don't know what went through my mind. Look at us, the second half, we improved so much. We went from zero shots to six shots and four on target. Oh, and we give two goals away, basically. God damn, Kuyate was really good. Fanano as well, really good. Eze. Are you... Wasn't as smooth as I would have expected him to be. Zaha as well. Wasn't able to, to complete his dribble yet with him. But. Goal scorers Van Arnold and Eze. They were carrying the team today. With Kuyate. Let's see how many tackles. Yeah 2 out of 3 Kuyate. Passes complete. 11 out of 11. And 13 out of 15. But Zaha, 5 out of 9. What were you doing, my guy? God damn. Oh, this dribble's complete. Never mind. Pass is complete. 
and we actually did really well passing wise yeah Townsend messed up a couple I remember as as well yeah shots on target as had three shots on target damn but yeah that's that's the game done unfortunately we threw away the win I choked I'm sorry guys there's nothing I can do about it now yeah maybe focus a bit more as we get it off of a Tompkins I'm immediately going to accept that and scout reports yes, 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 yes. West Brom you can have him Udinese you can have him as well oh no it's still the same from the last time never mind but yeah I think I'm going to end the episode here and then next episode will finish this month um I don't know if I should play the city game um no I'm going to end the episode here guys um it has been fun we're seventh in the league right now but that's going to change drastically of course um but yeah that's it for today guys uh, I hope you guys enjoyed I definitely did uh, like subscribe share do all that stuff it really helps and I'll see you guys next time when hopefully well, well we won't choke <laughs> a 2-1 lead in the 80th minute peace